Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing, and today we're going to tie the silver stoat. Now, this is a, um, a very common pattern in the UK for Atlantic salmon. It's very simple. Uh, and originally the uh, wing was tied with a stoat tail, but we're not going to be using stoat tail today. Most of these days, this is being tied with a uh, black squirrel, so that's what we're going to use. So, let's take a look at the materials. Our hook is a size 4 and a salmon single. We're going to use a, a black 8 aught thread. And our, our rib and uh, tag are going to be made out of uni French silver. We have uh, mylar in gold silver for the body. We've got yellow for the tail. Our throat is going to be black hackle. And of course, the black squirrel. So let's get started. Stop at the hook point. Now for our rib, and it's going to be the rib and the tag at the same time. So make sure you take off enough. Bring that out of the way. Now that we've locked it in place, pull it back underneath and put a couple of wraps to trap it. There we go. Cut off that tag. Now we put in our yellow tail. You could also use golden pheasant to uh, crest if you wanted to, but we're just going to go with the standard yellow hackle. Now we're going to tie in the mylar. You could use a uh, standard tinsel here as well. As usual with mylar, uh, since we're using the silver side, we're going to tie it in with the gold side showing. Now, we've got a bump here created by our tie-in point for our uh, rib and our um, uh, mylar on the tail. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work the uh, thread back to try and fill up some space. Now we tie on our mylar. Pull nice and tight when you start so you can get it to bend around. Mylar will stretch. And then just do it in touching turns. You don't want black showing. If you find yourself showing some black, just back up. Come back through again. Pull tight to go around the return. Now for our rib. Now you see I got a little bit of black showing there, so what I'm going to do is just going to bring my rib over that black, being careful not to move the tail. Cover that black up, there we go, and then come forward. I'm keeping everything underneath. Clean that up. Now for our throat. Be 
inch loop it in place. Make sure the position is okay. Okay, you bring your thread to the back of the head, and now we're going to use a hair stacker for the wing. We're going to put it a little length of the hook. Take a moment to make sure it's square on the uh, hook shank. Okay, now bit finish. Now, as I've said in previous videos, I like my wings to lay down flat. I don't like them stuck up at an angle, so that's the way I've tied this. Uh, if you want to go according to you know conventional fashion where it's a little higher up, go for it. It's a style choice. I, I feel this just swims better when they're tied this way. Now for a little uh, UV glue. Okay, there you have the silver stoat. A very simple pattern to uh, tie. And I've always had a affinity for these uh, silver bodied uh, flies. I've always found it's a, a good style of fly to use. Uh, that body uh, imitates the, uh, the silver sides of uh, the typical bait fish. So, and uh, of course, when you put black on top, it's like the, the, the darker top of a minnow. You've got the counter shading going on. So give it a try, the silver stoat. Cheers.